best friend to the TV show, man. Good to see you. You're looking suave. I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump right in it. Who do you feel like is going to win tonight? Before we even go to that, you clean up nice, man. Yay. You clean up nice. You see, I was waiting for that. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to step into that lane, you know? Yo. I have a few favorites. I don't know their names for the life of me, but some, some girls that just look great. But of course, we want beauty with a little bit more depth in it. So we'll see how that goes tonight. Good looking girls are not enough to win in this competition, okay. I would think. They need to have some depth. The guys have been following these girls around for a year now. I mean, the judges have been seeing their progress, how they've grown, their personalities, and all that kind of thing. So. Tonight is gonna. It's a culmination of what's been happening throughout the year. It hasn't been easy. It's tough to, um, you know, to, to keep up this beautiful, you know, whole standard yeah. and persona and everything, but also still be yourself. So we'll see. We'll see. Do you have a favorite? Who do you feel is like your favorite Miss South Africa of all time? My favorite Miss South Africa is Miss Melissa Bam. Least favorite thing. Um, my toes. <laughs> I have got the most odd looking toes on earth, but they ensure me and allow me to wear absolutely any shoes I ever want to. I was here when she was actually crowned, and I remember that moment when she, I think she was wearing a yellow dress, if I'm not mistaken. She looked absolutely beautiful. And since then, she just kept up that whole Miss South Africa thing. Favorite Miss South Africa of all time? Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. This was Susanna for different reasons, so it's it's a, it's it's not a fair question. My sister actually called me, if I remember, Johanna called me to say that, you know, we've just received a call from the Mr. Say, people, um, you've made it to the semifinals. I said, um, what semifinals? Um, she says, you know, your mother entered you into this competition. I said, well, I ain't going, because actually, campus was in Toyando, um, and the auditions were happening in Zanin, and that's a two-hour drive. Um, to be able to travel from uh, Toyando to, to Zanin. And I said to my sister, ain't happening. I ain't getting on a cab and going to some pageant, ain't interested. A phone call comes through and somebody's looking for me. Who's on the phone? My mother. Uh, she says, I believe we have a problem um, about you going uh, to you know, the semifinals for, for the Miss SA pageant. I said, what problem, mother dear? There is no problem at all. Uh, Bokam. He didn't even think about that. That was just, no, no, no. just fine. She's, uh, she's killing it. She's been at it. Um, you know, still taking care of herself. Good mother. Everything, everything, everything. Yeah, yeah. More than anything, you know, being Miss South Africa taught me so much about myself. You know, I learned that I'm capable, I'm able, that I can put projects together, that I can put presentations together and go and pitch to the top managers of companies, to the CEOs, and actually get a deal. And so I think, yeah, I think um, those are some of the things that I learned from being Miss South Africa and that's how I actually you know grew from being Miss South Africa.